Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a special featured project for you. It is with the Totally Techniques design team. We are going to be designing cards with cling wrap. It has been a long time since I've pulled out the cling wrap to stamp with. And I'm excited to share some really cool techniques with you. Now, this is part of a blog hop. So at the end of the video, you're going to find a link in the top right corner. Top right? Top right? And it's going to take you right to my blog where you're going to scroll down and see a list of other design team members links to go check out what they made and how they did it. There are several different ways you can use cling wrap for backgrounds and oh this is so pretty. I know you guys are going to love it. Let's flip that camera around and we'll get started. I am so excited to be working with some new product today. We have a brand new annual catalog. If you are in the United States and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact me. I would be happy to get you a copy of this amazing catalog. It starts on May 3rd, yay! And these, this is a bundle out of the new catalog. I'm also going to be using some new in colors. We've got Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. Along with Versamark Ink and Daffodil Delight. Now, the Sending Smiles stamp set, when you bundle these, you save 10%. So you buy the stamps with the dies together with one item code. There are 22 different images in this Sending Smiles, and it is a photopolymer stamp set, meaning clear rubber. I love those. Then we have this set of dies. This is called Sending Dies. There are 14 different dies in this pack that coordinate with the stamp set. So lots of fun going to happen here. I'm also going to be using the iridescent rhinestone jewels. These are my favorite, favorite embellishment with some white embossing powder and fluid 100 watercolor paper. This technique that I'm going to do needs watercolor paper. Our fluid 100 is fabulous. This comes with 10 different sheets and they are all five by seven inches. I'm also going to be using our grid paper. This is our small grid paper. You can order this right in my online store. This is a nice pack of paper. It's got um, rulers on it in both imperial and metric. So that's nice regardless of which country you're in. And then of course the cling wrap. So let's get started. I am going to bring in my piercing mat. This is a stamp and pierce mat. I simply cover it with printer weight paper and tape it on with scotch tape. This is my stamping surface. This works particularly well. Um, I use it for everything, but with larger photopolymer clear rubber stamps, you need that little bit of cushion under your surface to stamp with. So I've got actually two cards to share with you. I'm going to be showing you two different color combinations that I made. This one is using the Orchid Oasis cardstock at five and a half by eight and a half. This is just a half a sheet of our cardstock. I'm going to burnish that edge good. And then I have a piece of basic white. This is four by five and a quarter and a piece of basic black that is four three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I've already taken a piece of my Fluid 100 watercolor paper and I have cut it down to three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I've got, oops, hang on, something just fell. I've got some scraps. So we've got basic black and the Orchid Oasis scraps. And then I have left my adhesive sheets out on my desk so I don't forget to use them for some of these items that I can turn into a sticker. So when you have smaller dies, putting them on adhesive sheets to turn your layer into a sticker before you die cut it is like the best way to be able to use these. So I am going to, um, oh, by the way, these come six by 12. So you get 12 different sheets of these in a pack. And again, it's called adhesive sheets. These are fantastic. 
I've taken just a scrap and I've cut a scrap of the adhesive sheet that's just a little bit smaller. I don't like it to stick out over the edges of my scrap. So I have cut it just a little bit smaller and I'm gonna go ahead and add this. There's little slits in it. So you can peel the backing paper off. I'm just going to add this to my scrap so that when we get ready to die cut, I don't forget to do this part. So we'll, we'll get back to this in just a second. We're gonna do our technique first. So I'm gonna bring in that grid paper and our cling wrap. Where did that go? Right here. I chose to use three different colors in my background, cling wrap background. So I just gonna, I'm gonna pull off a piece of cling wrap and then I've got a couple other pieces over here that I set aside. Here's one. I'll tear one more off because that one disappeared. I don't know where it went. <laughs> no biggie, right? Okay, I am going to open up my ink pads. So, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party. Oh, I love these new ink colors. These are going to be available May 5th. In, of course, ink pads, paper, ribbon, embellishments, markers. We even have stamp and blend markers. And we're going to be using uh, the Orchid Oasis stamp and blend marker, too. So this is our alcohol markers. So I'll just set those right over here. All right, you will find all the dimensions for all of the projects that I share with you on my blog at www.estampabove.com. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be a link right up here in the top corner. You can click on and go over there and get all the details. I also create a free downloadable project sheet that you can take and save to your device or print off and put in your library of stamping ideas that has all the details in it for the cards we're making. So first thing we're gonna do, Stampin' Spritzer, these are really nice. You get two in a pack. I don't remember how much they are, but they're relatively inexpensive, like four or five dollars. And I love that they have such a fine mist. We are going to mist our watercolor paper. And don't be afraid of that water. I know it's kind of scary to throw water all over paper, but that's really what you need to do. So now I've got my cling wrap just kind of scrunched up and I'm going to bring it in and look at how that bleeds because of that water, okay? So that was our Orchid Oasis. Now I'm gonna come in with the Parakeet Party and I'm just kind of putting it in various places on my layer. You can always come back and add more, so don't be afraid of it. And now we've got the Tahitian Tide, another really pretty color. And what I decided to do with this technique is to make something that looks like tie-dyed backgrounds. So let me set these aside. I'm gonna bring in my heat tool and I'm going to dry this. Now you could set it aside. You could make up several of these, set them aside and just let them dry. Okay, this is gonna be our background. Now, I think that if you set this aside to let it dry, your color intensity stays a little more vibrant. So just know that um, if you have the opportunity to just set it aside instead of heat setting it, I would probably do that. And I'll show you my original that I made so you can see the difference. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to bring in our scrap of basic black. I've got my white embossing powder here and my Versamark ink. My Sending Smiles stamp set is all mounted up here on blocks so that I have anything I need at my fingertips. I'm going to grab that Sunshine to Brighten Your Day sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that right down here towards the bottom of my black layer. And then we're going to dust that with some embossing powder. Now our white embossing powder comes in a pack called the Basics. It comes with white, black, and clear embossing powder. So you get all three in a pack, which is really nice. We also have metallics that come with metallic copper, silver, and gold. Okay, once we have that on there, we're going to heat set this. And now we're gonna come in with our dies. So in this set of dies called sending dies, you have two labels. One is longer 
for a couple of the sentiments. One is shorter for the rest of them. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to grab the bigger, wider sending, and I'm going to die cut both of these. We are also going to take this piece that we put our adhesive sheet on to turn it into a sticker, and we're going to die cut the smaller sending, which is a layering sending. And then you've got these little flowers. I am going to, I want three of these, so I'm gonna run this through twice, and I'm gonna put this on the sticker paper too, because that's gonna be really easy for me to put it on as a sticker instead of trying to get glue on these tiny little elements. So we've got that happening. And then I'm gonna grab just some white scraps. With my Parakeet Party ink, I am going to grab my single stem here. You have a single stem and you also have a double stem. I'm gonna grab the single stem and I'm going to stamp that on my white because there's a corresponding die that goes with that. And then, I'm going to grab this larger, flatter um, daisy, and I'm going to stamp that. Whoops, that didn't turn out very good. This is only a scrap, so just try it again. That looks much better. I'll just go like that so I know that's not the one that I want. Then we have a dot for the center of our daisy. I'm going to stamp with Daffodil Delight. There we go, that looks great. And we're also going to be die cutting these. So here's my single stem for one of my flower, my flower. And then here comes the die that goes with this daisy. I'm gonna get these all cut out, all of these cut out. I'll be right back, hang tight. Okay, here comes all of our bits and pieces. So we've got our larger sending. Here comes our sentiment. So we'll just put those back over there. Uh, we've got our flower and our stem here. We've got our little flowers here. There we go. I'm only using three of them, but I'm going to get this one out of here. Okay. So there we go. And then we've got to get rid of these little pieces. Now, one thing I want to tell you about the sending, this has an eye on it, right? And there's a little dot that goes above that eye and that will stay in your die. So you're going to want to keep that handy so that when you get ready to put this together, you'll be able to find that little eye. And where is my sending? Oh, I put it back here, here it is. So that eye is right in here. I'm gonna leave it in there until we get ready to use it. I don't wanna lose it. Okay, so we're gonna take this and on the back, remember that sticker paper that we put on here? We are going to take your, take your pick tool. By the way, this is my favorite tool ever. If you don't have one of these, add it to your next order. You will never be disappointed that you got one of these. It does so many things for me and I use it constantly to help me pick up little things. I like to use it for that. So now the back of this whole word is a sticker. Hang on, let me get it unattached from my fingers here. <laughs> I wanna get this last little piece off up here. get a hold of it hang on you got to be careful with this because it is delicate there we go get that last little piece off of there and now we're going to put this right on here and I just love now you got to make sure that when you use this adhesive paper that you're doing it before you die cut so that you don't have to Goof around trying to get that lined up on the back of this orchid piece. Look at that, isn't that cool? Now, here comes our sending. This is the little dot that goes in our eye. And I'm gonna just hold it down with my fingernail. 
and get that backing paper lifted up and right off of there. And you can see that that's right on the end of my Take Your Pick tool. And I'll just set this right down on my eye. Ah, right? Very cool. Okay, now we can put things together. So I am going to be using, I've got black and white dimensionals here. I'm going to be using black minis. Our black dimensionals come in a combo pack. So you get the regular standard size ones and these mini in, all in one pack, which is really nice because you need both, right? So we're just gonna put these on here. So this will be popped up. Whoops, that looks like it's gonna stick off of there. I don't like that, hang on. Try a different one. If you need to, you can cut slivers off of the edges here too to make it fit. Uh, this piece, we're going to take our Dark o Orchid Oasis. You can color on white embossing powder, and I want this to be the same color as my card base, and look at that. So, white embossing powder, any color of alcohol marker gives you any color of embossing powder, kind of, right? Little faux trick there. And I'm going to put, whoops, I'm not gonna put dimensionals on this one. I'm gonna leave this one flat, so just hang tight. Now I think we can start putting our card together. I am so excited to see what else uh, the Totally Techniques design team has for projects because I think everybody's are gonna be just, you know, enough different that it's going to be very, very cool. So I hope you guys will join that blog hop. They are Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all around the world. And it's fun to listen to their accents too, right? I always like that. Okay, here comes our card base. I'm using liquid glue, by the way. I love liquid glue because if you Gives you a little wiggle room. If you don't get something on straight right away, you can move it a little bit before it sets up. And it's very economical. Here comes our sending. I'm gonna grab that Take Your Pick tool again and pop the backings off of these dimensionals. And we'll put this. I'm gonna put this right down here, so kind of on the right side center of my card. And then we're going to add our stem. For our flower. I'm gonna put that right over here. I'm gonna add some white dimensionals to my daisy. I'm gonna put that right over here. And here comes our sentiment. Make sure I have that straight, that looks great. And then we have these little flowers. And remember, we made these into stickers also. So I'm gonna pop the backing off of these and just kind of, well, let's see, let's sprinkle these around. I just thought these would be kind of a nice little embellishment before we put on our iridescent rhinestones. right up there. Here's our rhinestones. I'm going to use the smaller ones and I'm just going to dot them right in the center of these little flowers and that's going to give our car just a little bit of bling. Look at that. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Now we're not quite done yet because we have an inside and on the inside of our card 
I'm gonna grab one of these other flowers in here. Oh, I think I'm gonna grab this one right here. And I'm just going to stamp a few of these flowers with the Orchid Oasis. Just like that. And then I want to come in, there's a tiny little dot that goes in the center of these little flowers. And I'm gonna use my Daffodil Delight ink for that center. Just like that. And also a basic white medium envelope so that I can add just a little bit of pretty to my envelope to make it match my card. I think it's really important to get the most out of your stamping supplies and making that envelope pretty so that when somebody opens up their mailbox, they see your pretty envelope. It's going to brighten their day. And I think that's what we're all about, isn't it? So decorate, decorate up those envelopes so people have something pretty before they get to the real prize on the inside. All right, here we go. Here is, yeah, let me move all my, let me get all this stuff out of the way so you can see what's going on here. Here is a brand new in color orchid oasis with the parakeet party and also the Tahitian tide using the gorgeous Sending Smiles bundle, brand new in our annual catalog. Coming out May 3rd, so that's exciting. I can't hardly wait. I wanted to share with you the vibrancy of this background compared to this one. I let this dry naturally versus heat setting this one. So you can see there's just a little bit of difference there. And then I thought I would bring in our beautiful sweet sorbet. This is another brand new in color. And I used the sweet sorbet with the orchid oasis and the parakeet party for this background. And I made a landscape versus, or a portrait versus landscape card. So that's what I did here. Some really, really fun backgrounds. I love the tie-dye look on these. It just is like so springy makes me happy and that's what I'm trying to do here is sending some sunshine to brighten somebody's day. This one I put in a note of thanks. So there's a lot of different sentiments in here that you can send for just about any occasion. Okay, you guys, don't forget blog hop. You're gonna wanna click up here, but before you do that, click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. I am going to be doing a stamping marathon. You're gonna find all the details coming soon to help celebrate the launch of our new annual catalog. Yay! So I'm going to be doing daily live stamping, which is a lot of fun. I hope you'll be able to join me. Now you can click up here, head over to that blog hub, see what all the other Totally Techniques design team members made with cling wrap today. So fun. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. If you need a copy of that new catalog, you can email me right here at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to mail one to you if you're in the United States. Have yourselves a great Friday. Bye-bye.